when I buy something, I think I own it. I don't want to have to ask anyone's permission to open it up and try to fix it. We have a throwaway culture that treats almost everything as disposable. Even though e-waste is a small part of our waste stream by volume, it's 70% of the toxic waste going into landfills right now. And a lot of this waste ends up you know, in parts of the world where they, people do not have the infrastructure to deal with it. It poisons their water. It causes really harmful health problems in children. You know, I'm not okay with my old cell phone poisoning some kid just because Apple thought it was better that I not be able to fix it. Just because Apple thought that it's a better business model, that I don't get the parts, that I don't get the service information. I'm not okay with that. And if we want to solve a burgeoning e-waste crisis, we need to stand up to the companies that profit more when we throw more away. Companies like Microsoft and Apple, um, they don't have enough repair technicians to possibly fix all the problems with those devices. If we could, if we have any hope of fixing our products so they don't become electronic waste, we need to empower everybody to fix things. Letting people fix their own stuff, giving them the power to open it and, and get it running again, not only reduces waste, uh, reduces cost, you know, creates you know, more distributed economy, it, it gives people a new sense of ownership of that. I don't know if you've ever fixed anything. It like becomes more dear to you. You realize that even if it's not working, it still has value. The value is not just what it can do for you. You understand it as a thing. And I think we need a different relationship with our stuff. And I can think of no better way to have a different relationship with our stuff than to open it up and fix it.